Matt here with Mobile Solar. Today we're going to talk about the difference between a battery isolation manager and a DC-DC charger. So let's start by describing what a battery isolation manager is and what it does. This is a relay, which is basically a switch that turns on when your engine is running and turns off when your engine turns off. What this does is it allows your starter battery and house battery to be combined, meaning they're both charging from the alternator at the same time when you're driving, and when you stop, it isolates those batteries, keeping them separated. This is a completely passive device, meaning it does nothing to protect your alternator or your lithium batteries. It does nothing to limit the voltage or the current coming from the alternator as well. So it is literally just a switch that turns on when your engine's running and off when your engine's not running. That's all it does. So some, some cons of this is, especially if you have a lithium battery and maybe a newer, more powerful alternator, the alternator's voltage, especially on a lot of sprinters that we see, goes upwards of 14.8, even 15 volts. So this would just send that right through to your lithium battery, which is pretty hard on them. A lot of times that's gonna void your warranty or go outside of manufacturer's recommendations. The other thing is it does not limit the current coming from your alternator, which can cause your alternator to overheat or burn out early. Some positives about the battery isolation manager is it's very cheap. And if you have an AGM starter battery and an AGM house bank, this is gonna work great. An AGM house bank isn't going to pull enough current to overload your alternator in most cases, and it doesn't really need those special voltage settings that a DC to DC charger would give you. So this is a nice affordable solution for that scenario. A lot of our customers ask, well, what about a lithium battery isolation manager? This is really the same thing as a battery isolation manager, but it turns on for 15 minutes and then off for 15 minutes to allow your alternator to cool down. So what concerns me there is if my alternator needs to cool down in the first place, it's probably being overloaded during that first 15 minutes, probably not the best treatment of it. And again, those voltage and current issues still play a role for your lithium battery too. So moving on to the DC-DC charger, this is not a passive device, it is active. So it's actively pulling power from your alternator and pushing it to the lithium batteries at a specific voltage and a specific amount of current that you set inside the device. So whether it's an Orion or a Sterling or anything else, you should be able to specify, hey, I only want you to charge at 50 amps or 40 amps, or maybe you have a larger alternator, these can go up to 200 amps. So it's gonna actively allow you to select how much current you want to use to charge your lithium battery. You'll also be able to set the voltage that it will charge your battery at for a maximum value. These will also have temperature sensors and the ability to turn on and off automatically without the need for an ignition signal. They can accept an ignition signal if there's a need for that, but generally speaking, that's not necessary and this will just see the voltage rising from your starter battery and turn on and begin charging your lithium battery. So again, DC-DC charger versus a battery isolation manager. We're gonna choose this every time if you have lithium batteries. We do not sell battery isolation managers, but if you need a DC-DC charger, you can find these links in the description. And if you're looking for a discount on an open box unit, be sure to reach out.